Now we're going to move on from sequences. We're going to move on from sequences to series. So, uh, so with series, you're really concerned about you summing up all the all the terms. With sequences, you're actually looking at each individual term. You're looking at the value of this term. You're looking at the value of each individual term. With series, you're actually you're you're, you're actually summing up all the all the terms. So, uh, so if you sum up all the terms from from one from one all the way to infinity. So, so you're summing up all the terms from one all the way to to infinity. If you're summing up from one all the way to to infinity, then then we would denote capital S to represent the sum of everything, the sum of all the terms. With sequences, you only care about the value of each term. So with series, you're actually summing up everything. So if you sum up everything from from uh, from one all the way to infinity, we would denote it with this capital S. But then if if you're summing up, um, let, let's say let's say S S three S three. This here means you're summing up the first three terms. So you're actually getting this value, add this one, add this one. So that would then give you your S three. With S four, with S four, with S four, you're really summing them from one to four. You're really summing from one. So really, S four here would mean you're you're summing up. So so basically, it's like this. S one is this. F two would be you summing up these two terms. S three would be you summing up this. S four would be you summing up to these four. S five would be you summing up all with the the first five terms. And then if you sum up all the way to infinity, we would denote that with capital S. If uh, if you only sum up to a certain well, th this here would be a partial sum. You're you're only summing up part of the whole thing. So um, so S four here would mean you summing up the first um, the first four terms. But here's the thing. Um, if you if you sum up uh, a sequence like this, if you sum up this this sequence here, if you sum up everything, for some strange reason, the uh, the whole series here will converge. The the sum of the series will converge. This here will come to a certain value. Whereas whereas if you try and sum up everything, so remember with with sequences, you're actually looking at each individual term. You don't care about summing up everything. You're looking at each individual term. That's with sequences, but with series, you're you're actually summing up everything. Here, if you try and sum up everything here, this thing here, this thing here would diverge. It doesn't come to to a limit. Um, whereas this thing, if you try and sum up everything here, it it actually converges to one limit. So um, so so uh, yeah. So so just bear that in mind. Okay. Uh, some sometimes it, it converges. In, in this case, if you try and sum up the whole the whole series, if you add up, if you actually add up everything, it actually converges to one value. Whereas whereas if you try and sum up everything here, this thing here will just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this so this series will will diverge. This one here will converge. Okay.